Split is the largest town in Dalmatia and the second largest in all of Croatia. Split is a quintessential Mediterranean city with a small town vibe, noisy streets and easy-going locals. From a stopover place for tourists, catching a ferry to nearby islands or a bus to another, more exciting tourist destination, Split has become one of the most popular places to visit in Croatia. Located in the middle of the Dalmatian coast, Split makes a great base for your tour of Croatia. It is also an important transport hub and a port city. The best time to visit Split is any time from May through October. Bustling cafes, Riva, a seafront promenade perfect for strolling or people watching, charming restaurants serving fresh dishes, breezy beaches, historic boutique hotels and cozy wine bars are just some of the attractions that draw thousands of visitors to Split every year. Split's historic old town is a place where you will find the majority of must-see sites. The same goes for restaurants, from small family-run taverns showcasing delicious Dalmatian cuisine and yummy street food joints serving a quick fix like hearty barek or cevapi for late night food cravings to harbour side elaborate fine dining restaurants Split offers something for everyone's budget and style If you plan on exploring only Split's old town then you will need only one day but if you plan to spend more than a day in Split the town is full of historic boutique hotels charming vacation rentals hip hostels and even some villas. Being the biggest town on the Adriatic makes Split also a real beach town with a variety of beaches along its shores. From Sandy Bakvici, Rocky Kasuni and Bine Beach to Pebli Zjan and Trenik. Split is a great base to explore many Dalmatian highlights, including the towns of Dubrovnik, Trogir, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Zadar, Sibenik, and even Mostar in Bosnia in Herzegovina, national parks of Kirka waterfalls and Plitvice lakes, islands of Brak, Kvar, and Wis. Among the best things to do in Split, we mention Diocletian's Palace. The palace was built in 305 AD for the Roman Emperor Diocletian. This massive retirement complex sits in the center of the old town of Split. Over the centuries, the city of Split has grown up around Diocletian's Palace and during this time, many of the palace's buildings have remained intact. Climb the bell tower of St. Domnius Cathedral. St. Domnius Cathedral is located within Diocletian's Palace. This is the oldest Catholic cathedral in the world, completed in the 7th century AD. The Old Town The Old Town of Split is a maze of streets and cobblestone lanes that surround Diocletian's Palace. People's Square is the heart of the old town. Cafes and restaurants spill out into the square and one of the highlights of a visit here is gazing up at the old town clock. Stroll the Riva Promenade. The Riva is the harbor of Split, with palm trees, colorful buildings and views out to the Adriatic Sea. This is a popular place for a stroll. Climb Marian Hill. The Marian Peninsula sits just to the west of the old town. A series of trails cross their way over the peninsula. For another great view of the city, consider the stroll up Marian Hill. Visit Varos. One of the oldest neighborhoods in Split, Varos is a charming place consisting mainly of traditional stone houses 
with wooden green shutters. It's located on the south side of Marian Hill, just northwest of Diocletian's palace. This neighborhood was established in the 17th century by peasants and fishermen. Today, it's full of cozy apartments and room rentals. Visit the splits Pazar and Pescaria, the green market and fish market. These are two of the best places to feel the pulse of the city and observe locals as they go about their daily business. The beaches in Split aren't the prettiest beaches in Croatia, but they help to ease the midday heat during the summer, and especially during the working week. With little time left after work, locals visit town beaches for proximity and convenience. On weekends, people rather get out of the town for a swim, either to the neighboring islands of Solta, Brak or Chiovo, or head south to Duce. Lots of events and festivals take place in Split throughout the year. However, many of them are more interesting for locals than tourists. Ultra Europe is probably the largest music festival held in Croatia. The festival has been taking place in Split every July since 2013. Being the second biggest travel hub in Croatia, Split is easy to reach by all modes of transport, by plane, car, bus and even train. The same is true about moving around Split. The town is relatively small and walkable, and no matter where you stay, you are always within 30-40 minutes from all the major sites. Besides, public transport is available and well run. If you travel by car, you will like to know that parking spots are still relatively easy to find. However, availability and prices depend on how close to the old town you would like to be.